Ever find yourself down on Fremont Street looking for something to eat? Well, that was me and Tony Gonzalez this past Friday night. We were walking around getting some B-roll for our YouTube channel and decided we wanted some pizza. So we pulled up our smartphones, looked up Yelp, and found a bunch of them. But our criteria became what's real close because we don't want to walk too far. What had the best reviews, the most reviews, and the most current reviews. So four of them popped up. Uh, we were only able to vlog in two of them, and I'll tell you a story about the other two later. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you click on that subscribe link down below. Now let's get started with the video. Welcome back to another episode of Las Vegas and Beyond. Today we are at Fremont Street Experience and I'm here with a guest of mine, Tony Gonzalez. I'll pan over later. But we are uh, hungry right now and we're gonna check out some of the pizza places. We tried one, which was 322 Pizza right on Fremont Street. And the guy was pretty insulted that we were gonna video or vlog our experience. So we're not gonna go there. We're actually at Pizza Rock right now and uh, we'll give it a shot and stay tuned for the review. So here I am with Tony Gonzalez, and he, which pizza did you order? This is the picante with no poblano peppers because they are super spicy. Um, this already has a lot of spices on it, and I really like to put the hot pepper oil on, so it adds a lot of spice already as well. No peppers for me, but really good one. I also like the Tony two times if you're here for the happy hour. <laughs> I know it looks like I'm eating by myself, but Tony really is just right over there. So we just finished eating at Pizza Rock. It was pretty good. Um, it wasn't too bad. I think Tony overspiced his. What about? Yeah, a little did bit. You? But it was good. Like perfect <laughs> amount of spice. So stay tuned. Keep watching. We're off to Evil Pie. A vegan pizza it's called 420 so it's mushrooms vegan cheese let's see how it is <laughs> Tony asked if I was gonna put Parmesan cheese on it but it is a vegan pizza so I'm just using the red hot chili flakes second pizza of the day oh man this is really good it's a thin crust you can't even tell that it's not real cheese it's actually really good so when you eat your pizza do you fold it in half like this since it is kind of New York style let me know in the comments. Okay, I'll be honest, this was my first time eating here and I lived here. It was awesome. And your name? Jennifer Fox. Jennifer. She gave me this great suggestion about the vegan menu. Tried the 420. It was awesome. Thanks again. I'll be You're back. Welcome. So that was our experience at two of the pizza places on Fremont Street, or close to the Fremont Street experience. First one was Pizza Rock, and they do have a happy hour from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, but every night it's from 10 p.m. I believe till 1 a.m. or when they close. And their pizzas do range in the personal size, I think as low as $6 up to $8. 
I'll be sure to put a link here, at least flash the menu on the screen. And they have a lot of options as far as the type of personal pizzas. I have the Pesto Paradise, Pesto, Mozzarella, Cherry Tomatoes, Thin Crust. Really good, always consistent, always tastes good, and the service there is always friendly. Uh, then we headed over to Evil Pie, which is just across Las Vegas Boulevard as you're heading down past Fremont Street Experience. Really quick walk. There used to be the Lyft Air Park, which is now gone, but they are an Evil Knievel themed restaurant, if you couldn't tell during the video. Very friendly staff. They sell pizzas as holes or slices. I went for the slice, and as I said, it was a vegan pizza. They just introduced their vegan menu. Couldn't tell the difference. It was a thin crust. It was awesome. I think my total bill was uh, six bucks. So really good deal, really inexpensive. Recommend them highly. Uh, the other two places that I mentioned in the video was 322, which is right there on Fremont Street. And I asked the guy, could we uh, film there? Cause we were gonna vlog our experience. Kind of pointed over to the sign that said, no video or photography. And he kind of had this attitude about it. So I get it. Maybe they just don't want us filming what they do. Uh, I'm not sure why, but we have to respect that. The fourth place we went to was Papa Pizza located inside the Plaza Hotel at the end of Fremont Street. So if you go inside, make a left and head all the way down, you'll see Papa Pizza. I believe they were voted best pizza in Las Vegas in 2017 or 18, which it didn't look that bad, but it didn't look that great. The funny story though, and why I keep laughing to myself is as we walked down there, I was looking at the pizzas they had and you can buy either a whole pizza or by the slice. They had one that looked like a thin crust uh, with Alfredo sauce, mozzarella, and then looked like breaded chicken that was sliced. Uh, but I wanted to make sure, so I asked the server and she kind of looked down at the pizza, looked back at me, looked down, looked back at me, and then turned to her side and asked the chef and said, what is that meat on the pizza? He kind of walked over and looked at it, stared at it, looked back at me and said, uh, it's meat. So. Needless to say, I didn't want to have to try that one. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure that you subscribe down below. Also click the bell icon. And I think YouTube made a change. So when you click on it, I think it gives you the option to be notified of all videos, personalized, which I don't understand what that is, and then a third option. So do me a favor, when you do click that bell icon, make sure that it says all videos so that way you know when I upload new content. So again, Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you in the next video.